What's up, YouTube? It's your boy True Amir back with another video. And uh, I got Lil Amir. Check out the uh, channel. All his stuff gonna be in the description down below. Pull like and subscribe. Uh, today we got a little story time for y'all though. This is our worst beating of all times and like what we learned from it and all that stuff. So you ready? Yeah. All right. Let's get into the video. I got one. I was in second grade. Wait, no. I was in first. I was in first grade. And um, I took my dad's watch to school. It was like a nice dress up watch. And I, and I gave it to this girl because she wanted to see it on the bus. And I got to school. I'm like, oh, shoot. I forgot to get the watch back. And um, so I, met, I saw her in the hallway. I was like, bro, you got the watch? And she was like, nah, I lost in my class. I'm like, then I got home. My dad was like, yo, where's that? Yo, bro, yo, boy, you know, where my watch at? And I'm like, uh, uh, Amir took, Amir tried to took it, so I put it here. And He tried to cap with me. And yeah, so after I went, I went to bed, my dad was picking up Amir from his football practice. And he was like, yo, Tamir, wake up. And he was like, so, so you lying to me now? He was like, I'm like, huh? He was like, so you lying to me time to blame it on me? And I was like, no, 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 I wasn't lying, I wasn't lying. So he took me in the room. He took me in the mirror in the room. And he was like, so who took the watch? Was he you or you? And I was like, Mira was like, no, it wasn't me. I didn't take no watch. And I was like, it was mirror, it was mirror, it was not me. Then my dad came over, drop kicked me, and took me in the bathroom, then started beating me. Crazy. And that was it. Yeah, he tried capping me the whole time. And then it, he saw the end results, man, it was crazy. But uh, let me get in my story, though. Uh, my worst beating was, all right, so when I was in, like, I would say four. Fourth grade, yeah, it was exactly fourth grade. I was in the basement. I think my mom was asleep or something. I was in the basement. And I, when I was a young boy, I used to, like, playing with fire. I was playing with fire. And I uh, had a napkin. And I was burning it, and I kept blowing out. But this time, it wasn't blowing out. So I burnt it. And it caught on fire, like, the whole thing. And it started rushing, like, down. Because, like, you know when you light something on fire? It started to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, go up or down. So that's what they was going up on the Jones. Like, oh, and I was in the basement. My basement got all rugs. So I'm like, I'm not about to drop it down here. I'm going to burn the house down. So I ran all the way upstairs to the kitchen. Threw that joint in the sink. Uh, my thumb was burned. I had like a third or the fourth degree burn, something like that. I forget that. Oh, yeah. I remember I was playing with matches. This one I was at my grandma's house. And I was playing with matches. I was in the bathroom. I lit that joint. That joint fell my leg. And I got like a, like a dot on my leg now. All right, go ahead. Oh, uh, but like I was saying, I went upstairs. And I threw it in the sink. I started to uh, turn the cold water on in the sink. My thumb was burning. It was like all pink and stuff. And this is the thumb I burned. Y'all can't really see it, but this is the thumb I burned. But I threw it in the sink. My thumb was burning. And I told my mom. I ran upstairs to my mom. like, Mom, my thumb burning. Da, da, da. She was like, how you burning? I was like, I burned the gun. I was trying to cook. <clears throat> and then I showed her. She was like, oh, you got like a bad burn. So I thought she was going to take me to the hospital. She didn't take me to the hospital. And then the swore up overnight and all that. And I went back downstairs, it smelled all smoke, bro. So I turned on the fan, and I tried to get the smell out, but it wouldn't get smell out. She was like, oh, you was playing with fire, da, da, da. So she was like, when you uh, when your thumb heal, I'm going to whoop your A. So I was like, oh, dang, man. And so she did what she said. So the next day, now nah, before that, before I was about to go to sleep, uh, she was in the shower, I think. And I was like, later that night, it was like swollen up, like bubbly and stuff. So I got like a razor, and I slid it so like all the pus can come out. And the next day I went to school, my thumb was all like, ugh, like nasty and gooey and stuff like that. And it's like exactly what she said. She said, when you done, uh, you thumb healing, I'm going to whoop your ass. So I think my thumb was finally healed. And when I went to school, everybody was asking a question what happened. And I, I wanted to lie to them. I was like, yeah, I was trying to cook and I burned my thumb and stuff. And it was bad because I couldn't play football. None of that. I had to miss my games. I think my mom kicked me off the football team. I was sad. I probably was crying or all that. But, yeah, my football team was asking me questions. She told them. She was like, oh, yeah, he was playing fire. Da, da, da. And I was embarrassed because I lied to them. I'm like, hey, she told him, so I got to confess and tell the truth now. But, uh, what else? 
What else? What else? Oh yeah, when I uh she beat me, so she took me my room. She locked the doors. I think she told me to pick the belt. So I picked the belt. I'm like, yo, she wild. So I picked the skinny John. She went back. She's like, no, nah, we're not using it. She got a different John. I was like, come on, man. She made me take all my clothes off, bro. I had to stand on my bed so it was no escape. And she locked my door, bro. Started wearing me out. And you know how your parents are like, don't cry. Like, what you mean, don't cry? You whooped me with a belt. Like, what are you talking about? Wait, so, wait, wait, did she get it wet or something? Nah, I was. I ain't had no clothes on. I just had my underwear on, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, man. She well, was uh, beating me with the belt. And it was crazy because, like, I wasn't even, I'm saying, like, I wasn't expecting that. So that just was so crazy. And, like, you know how your parents be like, shut up and stuff? Like, are you serious? You're beating me with a belt. What am I supposed to do but not cry? Like, and then after that, all these whoops and stuff in my body. I was crying, doing all, the, all that stuff, bro. And, you know what I'm saying? But no lie, though. When you get a beating, that, that's how you get your best sleep. Like, no lie. Like, nobody want beatings, but, like, that's how you get your best sleep and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's just the story time for y'all today. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Uh, so some advice, like what I learned from the beings, man. Don't lie to your parents. Don't play with fire. Don't do bad stuff, because karma going to hit you, man. Crazy. Like, you see what happened to me? I, could, I had to quit the team, all this stuff. Got a beat and all this stuff. I had to go to school with a mess up them, all that stuff. It was crazy, and I didn't feel right either. And it was so crazy, man. Yeah, go ahead. Well, what I learned is, don't lie to your parents. Don't take your parents' stuff, and don't blame it on other people. Yeah. Because you're going to get beat. No. Yeah, karma gonna hit you bad, bro. Like, that's the crazy part. It really gonna hit you. Like, just don't, just, just don't lie to your parents. Don't take your stuff. Don't blame other people. Like, it's just, it's just gonna be messed up for your life now. Yeah, but that's the end of the video. Uh, tell me what else you want me to do. Challenges, story times, anything, bro. Just let me know. All our stuff gonna be in the description down below. Anything you wanna say? Yeah. Uh, follow me on Snapchat. Cool to me. All, All right. right, we out. Money in every pocket. I got Burberry seats, the color teriyaki. I'm on another wave. Cut the